Hello, and welcome to Hands-On WebAssembly for C++ Programmers. My name is Pat Biafor. I've been working as a software engineer for 13 years, and for about 10 of those years, I've been working with C++. I've worked in a variety of fields, from meteorology, to telecommunications, to operating systems. I like to focus on sound software engineering principles, and I also like to build developer communities. In this course, I want to talk to you about WebAssembly and C++. This course has seven sections. In the first section, we'll dip our toes into the water and get started with WebAssembly. Learn what it is, why it exists, and how you can use it. In the next section, it's off to the races. We're going to build our own C++ application to run in the browser. Through most of this course, we're going to be re-implementing a JavaScript Pong game in C++ and running it through WebAssembly. In section three, we pop the hood off of WebAssembly, take a closer look at its internals, how WebAssembly is structured, what does the text format look like, how it gets compiled, and so on. In section four, we take a deeper dive into WebAssembly system libraries. We'll take a look at file systems, threading, networking. In section five, we're gonna work with computer hardware in the web. How do you utilize your GPU in WebAssembly? How do you interact with keyboards or mice? In section six, we're gonna make music in the browser. We're going to add sounds and music into our game. And we're gonna do that by integrating audio capabilities. In section seven, I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks for debugging WebAssembly for when things don't always go your way. Now, if you're coming into this course, it helps to be literate with modern C++. I'm going to be using C++ 17 throughout this course. I'm not gonna get into more advanced concepts like R value versus L value or move semantics, but it helps to be familiar with things like standard thread, shared pointers, unique pointers, standard file system, and so on. It's also beneficial to have some familiarity with JavaScript, HTML, or web development in general. The course materials will provide most of the HTML and JavaScript that you need, but throughout the course, we'll be editing or adding little snippets along the way. It's also helpful if you have some familiarity with Linux or Linux-like systems. All of the examples that I'm running in this course are from a Linux desktop. Now, here's what I hope that you get out of the course. By the end of this course, I want you to be able to understand how WebAssembly fits into the web ecosystem. I want you to learn about the Emscripten toolchain and its options. I want you to understand how C++ gets translated to WebAssembly and then run in the browser. I want you to know how to interact with hardware, such as keyboards, graphics, or audio. And I also want you to be comfortable debugging and profiling your WebAssembly programs. So I'm ready to go. I hope you are too. Let's go get started.